Doesn't it feel like every headline you read is bad news? Well, the biochemistry in your brain suggests that's actually by design. The problem is a phenomenon called negativity bias. Our brains actually remember and process bad news better than good news. Rude, right? The term negativity bias was coined by researchers Paul Rosen and Edward Roisman in 2001. What they found was that both humans and animals give higher weight to negative entities over positive ones. It makes sense evolutionarily. If a tiger's chasing you, you can't exactly stop and admire the roses. What's that mean? When it comes to headlines, the words that feel threatening drive the most clicks. The upside? Once you know about negativity bias, you can redirect your brain to focus on more positive stories. And yes, they exist. So if you find yourself doom scrolling, consider apps that regulate how long you can spend on a platform. We also live in a time where you can curate your sources via email lists through different online subscriptions. Consider tone of voice and depth of reporting quality and seek perspectives that explore rather than sensationalize.